Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. Autumn. And Sang. And today we are reviewing the Scream and Sugar Monster High playset featuring Cleo Denial. So, before we continue with this review, as promised last video, we are going to announce the winner of our Halloween Flash giveaway, and it was Pinkie Pie! Yay! Um, we've already been in contact with the winner, um, and their prizes have been shipped out, um, so thank you to everyone who participated. Stay tuned to our channel, there will be more giveaways to come in the future. So, to get started with this review, um, the Scream and Sugar playset is a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, it is priced at $34.99 in the US. Um, and it comes with a lot of really cool accessories. It's a full playset, you know, it has a table, chairs, little snack foods, and everything. Um, it seems very based on, you know, a little like cafe, bakery kind of theme. Um, it's very cute, you know, it's you know, from the same line as the um, Amanita and Nephra 2-pack. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and open this up and give you guys a closer look. So this is the back of the Scream and Sugar playset box. Uh, it's nothing too exciting, but you know, back of the box is nowadays, it's mainly just, you know, promo pictures and the name of the character. Um, but it does give you a little bit of a closer look at some of the playset items and how you can set them up. Uh, it's very cute. Okay, so this is Screamin' Sugar Cleo out of box. She's so pretty. <laughs> mm. She has a, a middle part, I think it's supposed to be straight hair, but um, the, the t hair ties in the packaging gave it a little wave, which I actually think is pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's a middle part, black hair as usual, with the new sandy gold highlights, and um, as Max and I were talking about earlier, it's like we just so appreciate that Mattel made that move over the whole tinsel thing. So, I mean, I know we've already talked about it, but I just really appreciate it in this release because it just looks so nice and natural on her. Mm -hmm. As per usual with the reboot line, the makeup is very uh, understated, basic. She has a, a light shimmery golden eyeshadow both above and below her eye and a blue gem today and then what would you say? Magenta hot pinkish mixture lipstick color? I don't know what color you would say. Looks more reddish to me. Yeah, it's kind of like a maybe a very dark pink like light yeah. red. She has a couple of dangling gold earrings. <laughs> yes, yeah, so her earrings are a reprint of original Wave 1 Cleo's earrings. Throwback. Yes. <laughs> Keeping it with her. Yeah. And she also has um, probably one of my favorite Cleo accessories, although it's all also a reprint, a golden snake necklace, which wraps around her very nicely. Um, uh, which I believe originally came in um, Ghoul's Roll necklace. They borrowed a lot from Ghoul's Roll for yeah. this line. <laughs> Which we're gonna get into. I'll we'll get into, yeah. And now moving on to the clothes. Okay, moving on to Cleo's outfit. She is wearing a, a sleeveless summer dress with a high collar and um, the pattern on it is a geometrical pattern with a uh, blue triangles with red triangle centers and the backdrop is black. Um, in the middle there's a nice breakup with a golden sashy type thing. Uh, it's not an actual belt but it does look nice. And at the bottom her dress is finished with some interestingly cut black tulle. Um, it's a nice touch. I, it looks a little bit like I don't know, unfinished. Like they just yeah, cut it it's... haphazardly. It doesn't look bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's kind of, it looks, it's choppy. And I noticed this with all of them in, in Toys R Us. Is, yeah, it's like they're all a little bit choppy, but so cute. It's a nice finish. Yeah, at least it doesn't have like <clears throat> sparkles in it so your eyes aren't super drawn to that kind mm -hmm. of detail. And it's just nice yeah. to have like another dimension to the clothes. So no complaints really. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I really like this color scheme. I think it's an awesome color scheme on Cleo. Um, I like that, you know, the little red pinkish triangles, you know, you know, almost match her lips. 
which I think is, you know, it's, it's all very simple matching, you know, which I really like. Yeah, it's very there's, cute. There's an elegance to the simplicity, so. Yes, definitely. And for Cleo's shoes, she is wearing pale gold sandal heels um, that are open toe and um, have her trademark snake wrap around the top and a nice little spiderweb like design finish in the back and we're pretty certain these are reprints as well um, we think we're not sure if it's frights camera action or but yeah so almost all of this cleo's accessories are um reprints but um but yeah they are cute shoes regardless you know i, I mean, like i don't super mind that everything's reprints because uh I mean, for some people, this is like their first introduction to Monster High oh, type yeah, thing, so mm -hmm. it's their chance to get these cute accessories, so. Yeah, very true. So the Scream and Sugar playset comes with quite a few really awesome accessories. Um, you know, as with the usual Monster High playsets, um, you know, it's all very on theme. Um, so the first thing you get is essentially this little lovely Monster High menu that has a bunch of skullettes on it and little images of the things you can order at the Scream and Sugar Cafe. It's like a drawing of ice cream and a... Um... It, it's kind of funny how the items depicted on the menu board are very normy looking. <laughs> they are, yeah, because what's really funny, we were just having a conversation about how um, it's interesting that uh, I feel like some of the most on-theme elements of the Monster High toys and play sets is the food. You know, you see a lot of, you know, like goo and eyeballs and spiders and stuff like that. So it's, it's cool that they're very on theme with that. Um, you know, and there's even like a little cupcake tray, a little tray of macaroons and spooky punch. And a beaker filled with mystery liquid. <laughs> yes. It's a little golden goblet and a ladle for the punch. So now this is a two-piece. Um, this is a two-piece set. Uh, it's very easy to put together. This bottom piece right here, you simply have to snap in two pegs. It goes right in, but if you want to separate that, it makes it a little bit easier to store. Um, and the accessories are adorable. You know, they're very very on theme um you know i'm always a sucker for you know like toy suites and cafes and bakeries stuff like that so um i really appreciate that they did this kind of theme and made it very monstery um and there's some really cool designs too on you know over here on um the little it's like monster crests on the sides of the gateway behind the menu. There's one on each side. Um, and yeah, there's a little spiderweb design on the back of the snack tray, or snack cart, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so this portion of it I like quite a bit. Very nice for photography. So in addition to the little menu and cafe entryway, you also get a nice little outdoor seating area um, that comes complete with a little spooky parasol with a nice spider web and spooky splat design on the top with some little skelettes hanging off each edge, which you can hang yourself that comes separate. And you, know, you can see the cute little curly design and the deep purple. And we have several more food items here. Um, one of my favorite food items that this comes with is actually the, um, the little um, like monster pie <laughs> that it comes with right here. It's really cute. It's like a green slime pie. 
It's so Nickelodeon slime. It is <laughs> very Nickelodeon. Yeah, Monster High playsets in general, they give me kind of like Nickelodeon vibes. But um, it's really cute. It also comes with uh, utensils. So there's a red and a light green fork that actually have little handles so you can have your dolls hold the forks. And there's also in one of the little gold coffee cups um, is a, you know, presumably a mummy mocha. Um, or maybe a cold drink because it has a straw. <laughs> um, super cute, has some little bubbles in it. And another really nice food accessory is um, the little, little souffle. red spider souffle over here. Very cute, very detailed spider on the top. And a second golden goblet for your collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a very nice goblet. And the lining of the table itself is also, it's really nice, really well done. You know, it has a very cool spiderweb design along the edges. Mm -hmm. It almost has like a spooky, you know, gothic, like sort of. gothic Paris, yeah, kind of theme. And this playset comes with two chairs, so you can sit up to two of your ghouls down to these snacks. And um, I really like these chairs. These are very nice Monster High chairs. These yeah. are unique, right? Yeah, I believe so. I, we may be wrong. Don't quote us on that. <laughs> but yeah, but no, they're very cool. Yeah, and again, it's you know a very nice spider web backing with some skelettes. A and, big skelette to sit on. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, and the seat itself is a huge skelette, which is very cute. And yeah, the two chairs are the exact same. There is also, yeah, a little paper cutout of Nephera. Um, Cleo's sister Nephera, if you can... I'm not suggesting this is part of the playset, but I do think it's cute that they have her sitting here and um, she's holding the mummy mocha, whatever, and... Uh, this set, set comes with Cleo, so just imagine that they're on like a little sister's date at the cafe. Mm -hmm. There's also a solid blue spooky candelabra. One of the best details on it is that it has skeleton hands holding each candle up. Mm -hmm. You can't really see the detail super well because it's all one color. Um, I would recommend, I don't know, painting the flames orange or green or something. Mm -hmm. but. Yeah, very nice. You know, very nice little added detail, um, helps set the ambiance. And as you can see when you first notice this box in the store, it comes with a very nice little backdrop that you can position in the back if you'd like to take photos of your ghouls sitting with their snacks and coffee. And, um, you know, what I really love most about the play sets is, you know, obviously they're great for kids for obvious reasons and, you know, playing around and playing pretend. Um, they're really great for adult collectors because it gives you a full setup of pretty much everything you need to take pictures and, um, you know, you don't really need anything else. You've got the backdrop and the props and everything. So. And unlike the most recent dolls, this backdrop isn't, like, glued to the rest of the box, so it's very yes. easily slides out. It's convenient. Definitely appreciate that. All right, and these are our final thoughts on Cleo Denial and the Scream and Sugar playset. Well, uh, I had my eye out on you know, this playset since you know it first uh, uh, came out or leaked, whatever. Uh, but for the price of thirty-five dollars, is a little um, too much for something that um, I would consider a kid's toy. Um, while everything's very pretty and pr all pretty and colorful, uh, I don't think it's enough to justify $35. Um, also, the fact that, you know, since it's not technically, like, up from online, really, like, there's only two, like, two or three dolls that are in the Scream, scream and Sugar, yeah, scream and sugar line, so, um, it's, it's kind of like it's, it's on the shelf without any promotion, you know? Um, but Cleo, her, Cleo herself is very pretty and, you know, I love her hair, um, that, um, gold highlights really, you know, really make the doll. Um, and I think, you know, there's, you know, been a rumor that, you know, this line was pre-reboot and that they kind of transitioned into, um, the reboot, um, series because, you know, Cleo is totally articulated and the fact that most like um, uh, gimmick dolls or dolls and play sets uh, nowadays are jointless. So I think that's very interesting. Um, 
also a lot of the stuff that comes in this playset um, is uh, the same mold as um, some of the older ones. So I think uh, we had a discussion about that on Instagram a while ago. So that's a little disappointing. I don't think there's enough items in here to warrant $35. But luckily we did get this on sale at Toys R Us. Um, so we got for $21 and that's a fantastic price for this. You know, I'm a big fan of the new Cleo, so I'm glad that she is tinselless, so which is very nice. And you know, would I recommend that you to buy this? Um, if for the doll itself, I definitely think she's worth um, you spending a little extra bucks for it. But as a playset, I think it's a little bit overpriced. So either get this on sale, or you know, buy on eBay if she's sold separately. Yeah, this is a nice playset, but a little overpriced. And there's definitely no gripes with the quality of this set. I think everything looks great and well put together. Um, the Strictly Blue candelabra is a little disappointing, but when I see it all together, like it's really not that bad. But I mean, even in this shot, you're like, oh, there's a candelabra in here? It's just like <laughs> fading away in the background. But that's just nitpicking, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I just agree with saying that, you know, it's a bit pricey for everything you're getting. It's not always practical to have play sets all over the place. Like maybe if your kids really enjoy it, that'd be one thing. But for collectors, like, uh, I don't want to pay a whole lot of money for this thing I'm going to mostly have in storage. So Cleo is definitely precious. I was totally fawning over her when we first opened up this box. So a little jealous right now. But uh, yeah, if you can find it on sale, I would definitely pick this one up. Yeah, I agree with pretty much all their points. Um, I think this is an adorable set. You know, I really like the, you know, the fact that they made, you know, kind of compar comparable to Ever After High's sugar-coated line. You know, they did a Monster High version with a lot of... It's nice to have more Monster High, you know, sweets, accessories, and foods, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, the doll itself, you know, this is a really, I'm, you know, really basic, simple dolls aren't usually my favorite, but this is a really lovely Cleo. Um, I love her hair, I really like her color scheme, the dress is really nice. I absolutely agree, $35 is not something, you know, I or I think most people would want to pay for this kind of set. Um, you are getting a pretty good amount of stuff, um, it's actually... Really going through it after opening it, it's quite a bit of stuff. You do get a lot of accessories, but um, yeah, I think maybe 25 would have been a more reasonable, you know, maximum price, that kind of thing, uh, especially considering the doll, you know, doesn't have a ton of detail. But, um, but yeah, we got this one on sale, so if you're able to pick this up on sale at Toys R Us, you know, more in the ballpark of 20, 25 dollars, that I think is a pretty good deal and I definitely would recommend picking this up if you're a Monster High fan. So thank you for joining us for our review of Cleo Denial and the Scream and Sugar playset. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you guys think of her. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we will see you next time. Bye! See Bye. Yeah, Cut it it's... haphazardly. It doesn't look bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's kind of, it looks, it's choppy. And I noticed this with all of them in, in Toys R Us's. Yeah, it's like they're all a little bit choppy, but so cute. It's a nice finish. Yeah, at least it doesn't have like <clears throat> sparkles in it so your eyes aren't super drawn to that kind mm -hmm. of detail. And it's just nice yeah. to have like another dimension to the clothes, so no complaints really. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I really like this color scheme. I think it's an awesome color scheme on Cleo. Um, I like that, you know, the little red pinkish triangles, you know, you know, almost match her lips, which I think is, you know, it's, it's all very simple matching, you know, which I really like. Yeah, it's very there's, cute. There's an elegance to the simplicity, so... Yes, definitely. And for Cleo's shoes, she is wearing pale gold sandal heels um, that are open toe and um, have her trademark snake wrap around the top and a nice little spiderweb-like design finish in the back. And we're pretty certain these are reprints as well. Um, we think, we're not sure if it's Fright's camera action or, but yeah, so almost all of this Cleo's accessories are um, reprints. But 
Um, but yeah, they are cute shoes regardless. You know. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. Autumn. And Sang. And today we are reviewing the Scream and Sugar Monster High playset featuring Cleo Denial. So, before we continue with this review, as promised last video, we are going to announce the winner of our Halloween Flash giveaway, and it was Pinkie Pie! Yay! Yay! Um, we've already been in contact with the winner, um, and their prizes have been shipped out. Um, so thank you to everyone who participated. Stay tuned to our channel. There will be more giveaways to come in the future. So, to get started with this review, um, the Scream and Sugar playset is a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, it is priced at $34.99 in the US. Um, and it comes with a lot of really cool accessories. It's a full playset, you know, it has a table, chairs, little snack foods, and everything. Um, it seems very based on, you know, a little like cafe, bakery kind of theme. Um, it's very cute, you know, it's you know, from the same line as the um, Amanita and Nephra 2-pack. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and open this up and give you guys a closer look. So this is the back of the Scream and Sugar playset box. Uh, it's nothing too exciting, but you know, back of the box is now... Gold earrings? <laughs> yes, so her earrings are a reprint of original Wave 1 Cleo's earrings. Throwback. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she also has um, probably one of my favorite Cleo accessories, although it's all also a reprint, a golden snake necklace, which wraps around her very nicely. Um, uh, which I believe originally came in um, Ghoul's Roll necklace. They borrowed a lot from Ghoul's Roll yeah. for this line. <laughs> <laughs> which we're going to get into. I'll get into it, yeah. Now moving on to the clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on to Cleo's outfit. She is wearing a, a sleeveless summer dress with a high collar, and um, the pattern on it is a geometrical pattern with uh, blue triangles with red triangle centers, and the backdrop is black. Um, in the middle, there's a nice breakup with a golden sashy type thing. Uh, it's not an actual belt, but it does look nice. And at the bottom, her dress is finished with some interestingly cut black tulle. Um, it's a nice touch. I, it looks a little bit like, I don't know, unfinished. Like they just... Nowadays, it's mainly just, you know, promo pictures and the name of the character. Um, but it does give you a little bit of a closer look at some of the playset items and how you can set them up. Uh, it's very cute. Okay, so this is Screamin' Sugar Cleo out of box. She's so pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she has a, a middle part, I think it's supposed to be straight hair, but um, the, the t hair ties and the packaging gave it a little wave, which I actually think is pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's a middle part, black hair as usual, with the new sandy gold highlights, and, um, as Max and I were talking about earlier, it's like, we just so appreciate that Mattel made that move over the whole tinsel thing, so. I mean, I know we've already talked about it, but I just really appreciate it in this release, because it just looks so nice and natural on her. Mm -hmm. As per usual with the reboot line, the makeup is very, uh, understated, basic. She has a, a light shimmery golden eyeshadow, both above and below her eye, and a blue gem today, and then what would you say? Magenta, hot pinkish mixture, lipstick color. I don't know what color you would say. Looks more reddish to me. Yeah, it's kind of like a, maybe a very dark pink, like light yeah. red. She has a couple of dangling, oh, I, I mean, like. I don't super mind that everything's reprints because, uh, I mean, for some people this is like their first introduction to Monster High oh, type thing, so mm -hmm. it's their chance to get these cute accessories, so. Yeah, very true. So the Scream and Sugar playset comes with quite a few really awesome accessories. Um, you know, as with the usual Monster High playsets, um, you know, it's all very on theme. Um, so the first thing you get is essentially this little 
lovely Monster High menu that has a bunch of skullettes on it and little images of the things you can order at the Scream and Sugar Cafe. It's like a drawing of ice cream and a... Um... It, it's kind of funny how the items depicted on the menu board are very normie looking. <laughs> they are, yeah, because what's really funny, we were just having a conversation about how um, it's interesting that uh, I feel like some of the most on-theme elements of the Monster High toys and play sets is the food. You know, you see a lot of, you know, like, goo and eyeballs and spiders and stuff like that. So it's, it's cool that they're very on theme with that. Um, you know, and there's even, like, a little cupcake tray, a little tray of macaroons, and spooky punch. 